Okay, class, settle down. Listen up. We're about to embark on a series of sessions discussing an important phenomenon, important to you, to me, to every single person on the planet Earth. One phenomenon that goes by different labels, either climate change or global warming. And I know you've read about it. I know you've heard about it. I hope you've read a bit about it. We'll be talking about the science underlying this phenomenon, keeping away from the politics, focusing on the science, and in each session we'll address one particular question that is important uh, to understanding the science or to dispel misinformation that's being bandied around. Mis-science. Now, in any discussion about climate change or global warming on the planet Earth, there is a fundamental question that always we need to have at the fore of our minds. Is the Earth in energy balance? And if I'm suggesting to you, claiming that this is an important question, well, of course, some important sub-questions are, what does the term energy balance mean? And if the Earth is in a state of energy balance, so what? What are the consequences? And if we can talk about whether the Earth is in a state of energy balance or not, well then it's obvious that we must be able to consider the possibility that planet Earth is out of balance from an energy point of view. And if it is out of balance, so what? Again, what are the consequences? All right. So let's deal with this question, um, part, part of the question, the first part of, the first question of this. I hope you understand, I'm sure you do understand, that at any time, half the surface of the Earth is receiving radiations from the Sun. So there's radiation coming from the Sun, which is obviously over here, long, long, long way away, and illuminating with ultraviolet and visible light that half of the surface of the Earth that is at that moment pointing towards the Sun. And of course, since the Earth is revolving over a 24-hour cycle, the, that half of the surf, surface of Earth, which is pointing towards the Sun, is changing, and any location is experiencing day and night. OK, half the surface of the Earth, incoming radiation, is incident upon the surface of the Earth, and at the same time, energy is emitted from all over the surface of the Earth into space in all directions. Let me portray that um, in a cartoon here, in a more or less parallel beam of radiations, uh, energy is arriving on one half of the surface of the Earth. But at the same time, from all over the surface of the Earth, in every direction, energy is being lost as radiations. So, the concept of energy balance. Simple, very, very simple. If the rate at which energy is absorbed by Earth, if the amount of energy per second being absorbed by the surface of the Earth is the same as the amount of energy per second that's being lost from the surface of the Earth by those radiations going out towards space, then the energy of the Earth is constant and the temperature doesn't change. Analogy with regard to me, my weight and my eating, if the jewels that I gain through eating is the same as the jewels lost, then my weight stays constant. Now, what about the condition where energy balance is not the state of being, energy of the planet Earth is out of balance? That can happen in two possible ways. Either, if the rate of energy absorption by the surface of the Earth is greater than the rate at which energy is being lost by emissions, 
then the energy of the Earth will increase and the temperature will increase. Mm -hmm. There's an alternative. If the rate of energy loss is greater than the rate at which energy is being gained from the sun, then the temperature will decrease. More is being lost than is coming in. I hope that makes sense. It's a really simple idea, so fundamental, fundamentally important. Now, the story is a bit more complex in terms of Earth, what, it, what reaches Earth and what leaves the surface of the Earth. There are, of the radiations coming down, some of it, not very much, is absorbed by the atmosphere. Some is reflected from the surface, or particularly from snowfields. Some is absorbed by clouds, and of that that's being emitted from Earth, some is absorbed by molecules in the atmosphere. Some of those molecules radiate back again. There are many, many pathways for energy flow, um, but the generality remains. If the energy gained by the surface of the Earth at a given time is the same as the energy loss, then the temperature stays constant. Mm -hmm. Augie, you have a question? So, Prof, if the rate at which energy is going away from the Earth is the same as the rate at which energy is reaching the Earth from the Sun, and the temperature is not changing, does that mean that what you're calling the state of energy balance is equilibrium? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, good thinking, uh, but no. But nonetheless, that needs clarification. Uh, you're talking about, we can talk about equilibrium in some general sense. I've got a sore leg because I had an injury of some sort and I'm pretty wobbly on my legs. And as I get better, it's common to say he's not so wobbly anymore. He's restoring his equilibrium in a physical sense. Um, there are many ways in which we talk about things being equilibrium in some physical sense, uh, meaning some sort of balance even psychologically. But if you are in fact referring to chemical equilibrium, dynamic chemical equilibrium, then no, this does not correspond. Energy balance does not correspond with dynamic chemical equilibrium. And the condition of dynamic chemical equilibrium, the system we're talking about, in a container, there is nothing coming in and nothing going out. There are reactions going in one way and in the opposite direction and at the same rate. That's dynamic chemical equilibrium. In this particular case, energy is coming in and energy is going out. And it's not so much equilibrium as what we call a condition of steady state. A steady state balance. It's a very different thing. Mm -hmm. This is something like, I suppose, we have a bath half full of water, we take the plug out, but we turn the tap on. If the rate at which water goes out the plug hole is the same as the rate at which water comes out through the tap, the level of the water in the bathtub is stationary, is constant. We call that's not an equilibrium, that's a steady state condition. Mm -hmm. Okay, any other? All right. Now, that's it. That's, I simply want to get across the idea of what energy balance or out of balance is. It's so important. But foreshadowing where we're going. Here's a fact. The average temperature on Earth is increasing. This is a measurable, measurable phenomenon. This is observable. So if the temperature is changing, in fact it's going up, Planet Earth is not in a condition of energy balance. It's not in a steady state. Now, if the rate of incoming energy 
So to explain that, to explain that, we've got to we deduce that the rate of incoming energy must be greater than the rate of outgoing energy. So the temperature is going up. Now, the rate of incoming energy from the sun is quite constant, apart from the occasional solar flare, which coming down is constant. So how can we explain this? It must be that the rate of energy loss is decreasing. The rate of emission of energy away from the Earth is decreasing. So we think about that as we go into our next sessions. And of course, as you walk away, you're thinking to yourself, are you not? Why would that be? And I'll give you a little bit of direction to your thinking. Perhaps think about carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and some other gases and what you may have read about called the greenhouse effect. Okay, can you wait for the next session?